Hello students, Michael Sanchez here. I'm going to have Sarah play some vibrato for us and then we're going to give her some tips to help improve it. So go ahead and Sarah just play um, maybe just uh, third finger on the D string, vibrato. Go ahead and keep doing that. So you were thinking I was going to give you tips over there, right? Mm -hmm. But actually, um, and I actually find this a lot of students is when they're doing the vibrato, they're not, you know, enjoying their, the sound that they're making. A lot of times it has to do with the right hand. So when we're doing the wave, the motion in the left hand, it's very easy to tense up in the right hand while doing that. But it's actually the opposite. We should keep this just as relaxed as we normally do, even though we're doing this. So what we can do is just practice that, focusing more on the right hand while doing the vibrato, just on one note. So this is what it would sound like if I was tense in the right hand. Sound a little familiar? Mm -hmm. So try to focus on this. Go ahead and try that, just third finger again, but focus on what you're doing here. Keep your thumb more curved. And then remember we talked about earlier with the tension? Mm -hmm. Try it again, try not to do, be tense in the thumb. More index finger, nice relaxed grip. Nice. It's a good vibrato. Nice job. So um, there's always something to improve a vibrato, and a lot of you guys are probably working more on the left hand. So hopefully this gives you an awareness that. Uh, the tone of vibrato isn't always necessarily everything with the left hand, but it also can have a lot to do with the right hand. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.